not everyone would find the joke funny, but it is a joke. Yeah, at the end of, at the end of the day, what I did was a joke, and I feel the exact same way about this Grenfell business with the gentleman that burned the effigy. Um, and if, if people want to call it a bad taste joke, absolutely. I completely get it. The Grenfell incident is still quite fresh in a lot of people's minds. Um, but them receiving condemnation for what they did, which they, they in fact did when the video was doing the rounds on Facebook, people were saying it's disgusting, it's horrible, it's abhorrent, and they were really, really attacking the act and the people involved, which is fine. That is just social consequences over what they did. But the fact that the police are now involved in this is something that is extremely frightening because the only thing that they did was cause offence. That That is the only thing I can imagine being the crime. Like, they, they did it on private property. They did it in their own backyard. And I think the thing that they may possibly have been arrested over, I don't know if it was the act itself, but it may be similar in my case where... For example, me creating the video and starring in my own video, that wasn't the crime. It was the posting it online that the police treated as the crime. So it might be it might be a case of that's why these men were arrested because the video was posted. And I think they might the police might be trying to discover out of the six men who were arrested, which one of you posted the video. And I think the fact that all six of them are getting charged means that not one of them is fessed up to who posted the video. Hmm. I think that may possibly be the case. Isn't that funny? Um, you know what? I, I can only imagine if you had a loved one who died in that fire, you would think it would be in bad taste. I mean, I, I suppose an analogy would be if you had the Twin Towers of the World Trade Center, if you burned them in effigy on Guy Fawkes Day, I could imagine a lot of Americans and a lot of people around the world would say that's in very bad taste. And, and in fact, we do see examples of people wearing Osama bin Laden t-shirts, not, not so much these days. And I think we can say that's odious, if that's our view, but to prosecute, to arrest and prosecute, you telling me just before we turn the camera on um, that you have information that these men's houses were searched. Tell me, tell me what you heard about that. Well, there was even uh, pictures and stuff like that as well. Apparently the police uh, searched an address. Um, I, don't, I think it may possibly have been the address that the video was filmed at. And the police were seen leaving the address with uh, bin bags, you know, full of items. And most of, most of the items looked like arts and crafts type stuff that they obviously used to construct the effigy. That's what it seemed. They, they even went through the guy's trash to actually, you know, get, gather more evidence. But the, the thing that bothers me with that is they're trying to prove that they, in fact, built the effigy. Now, I don't know if the building of the effigy and the burning of it itself is being treated as, as a crime. Then that's if that is the case, then that is extremely worrying because that's something that they did on their own private property. That's an excerpt from my daily show, The Ezra Levant Show, weekdays at 8 p.m. Eastern. Every day I do a monologue, interview a guest, and read my fan mail and my hate mail. To subscribe, go to therebel.media slash shows.